So guys, this is my new manual. It is a Kai Mobility Catalyst. Um, we did, before I really get started, I'm going to make a little bit of a disclaimer. Most of my irritation regarding this chair is not actually with the chair itself. It is with my supplier. Um, my mom had worked out with a supplier to get it. It originally had been spec'd as a folding, which is how it has been ordered now. That's how I received it. However, because both my current physical therapist and everybody that knows me is like, your body position is all wrong for that. I mean, my feet sit together like this, not separated, you know. So, um she had worked out to have it ordered as a rigid and her pay the difference. They did not order it as a rigid. So this is just a quick 360. And I'm sorry that I can't zoom out any further. As I mentioned earlier in the vlog, I was going to do this with my big Nikon, but it kind of decided not to focus. One thing that I do like is, um, and I do have a J Union cushion on here, which seems to work for now. However, if this stretches out, like I have had other chairs do in the past, it won't work for after that. Um, so I don't know. Um, yet again, I can't answer those questions right now. So... One thing we're trying to do is get my uh, footrest changed, which would allow me to pretty much just treat it as a rigid, where instead of the two single footrests, it would just basically sit like this and be essentially a rigid footrest on a folding chair, which, how would I fly like that? Well, there are these right here, which when pressed in, make sure that's in frame. When pressed in like this, there we go. Well, allow my chair to do that. So would, this will make it easier for flying and things like that. And then you just set it back up and it locks in. Um, the other nice thing about this chair versus my old manual is, where is that button? This is, let me spin this around. Spin this way, I can also add some light. Um, this allows you to pull it out that way and then just take the back off. So, if you're going to fold it you know, like a standard manual. And then this, as you notice, I'm actually doing this one-handed. So if you're like me and you have problems with one shoulder sometimes, or, you know, maybe you're an amputee, that I did just switch hands, but I'm sure you can actually do it one-handed. I just switched because my shoulder was starting to wear out. So, um, the footrests on here, like I was mentioning earlier, this is my biggest problem because let me actually show you guys. So if you notice, my knees are naturally together. I don't sit with my legs apart. My feet naturally sit like this. This is how they want you to sit in a folding chair. So this is actually my natural position which is more correct for a rigid chair. And yeah, that's the pad to my power chair that I was sitting on. I can't sit on a regular floor. On It causes a lot of issue and skin breakdown. But, I mean, this chair is great for me. I mean, it's... The chair itself, the seat in the back, are amazing. It is... The headrest has not come in yet. Um, Width-wise, it's great. 
comfort wise it's really good it's a lot better than my last manual ever was um it does have scissor brakes and scissor brakes quite literally versus the old ones where i was like wham, wham, every time i pushed myself and slipped or my finger caught these quite literally these are a little stiff because they're new and i have them nice and tight i mean they're good and sturdy but they push all the way out of your way so you have your whole wheel which granted you would almost never grab that far down I have grabbed this far down, like going back up a ramp, but in normal circumstances, you wouldn't. But, um, where the normal, I don't even remember the name of the other brakes, they're not really designed for someone who pushes themselves a lot. As you guys can see, let's see if it'll focus. I actually have torn up my cuticles quite badly. Uh, my knuckles aren't that bad right now. Um, but I have split my knuckles in the middle of stores where my hand got caught. Or, you know, I slammed into the brake. Uh, I actually dislocated my knuckle one time when I slammed into the brake. Um, one time, badly enough that luckily my mother was with me and I had to ask her, can you push me because I had blood running down my hand and... Dripping blood through a store is probably not a good thing. So we were able to get me to the bathroom and get it cleaned up. And then I was able to go back to pushing myself. But yeah, <laughs> needless to say, scissor breaks. Um, if you tear your knuckles up, um, you know, bang them up on the brakes, definitely ask your um, physical therapist about them because they are a lifesaver. Um, one of the other things, this chair did have armrests. I will insert the clips I took Friday. Um, I took them off for a couple reasons. One, I didn't want them to begin with. My medical supplier is obsessed with armrests. Um, I told them at the eval, I'm like, I don't want armrests. I want side guards, clothing guards. Some people call them different things. The things that keep, um your clothes, your jacket, whatever, in my case, dog leashes and purses on top of clothing out of your wheels. Um, that allow you to not have to worry about your clothes rubbing your tire, your wallet slipping into your tire, um, things like that. And he's like, oh, oh, they're on the armrest. And I'm like, Wayne, I don't want armrests. He's like, oh, well, they can always be taken off. And I remember asking mom, why would you order something knowing that I'm just going to take it off? I don't understand. Well, when they came in, the, the chair was so narrow. Or, I got ahead of myself. The way they were on, they were actually sitting on the wheel. And I couldn't grab my wheel. And I said, Wayne, these have got to come off. And he's like, oh, here, let me turn them around so that instead of overlapping the tire, they're inward. And the chair was actually then too narrow. And I'm like, these, these got to come off. This is, this is just not right. And on top of that, they're the little adjustable <clears throat> ones that when I tried to do this to do uh, a scoot back, which is also, I do a pressure relief and scoot which allows me to get all the way back in my seat. Um, anyway, um, it actually gave, which it was adjustable, but with this little pin and bracket, which had been dra dragging my tire. I have a, uh, images and video of that that I will insert. This is rubbing right here. It's not quite as bad on this side, but you can tell it is there also. And this one has got rubber all over it from where it's been rubbing up against my new wheel. And I just got this, what, Mom? Three hours ago? little 
irritated. Um, it gave out on me and slammed all the way down, which was not comfortable on my shoulder. Um, and so mom had to help me get it off and I was just not at all impressed. And uh, so we immediately took them off. When we talked to my physical therapist, would have either been Friday night or Monday because I can't remember if I'd already been. Anyway, um, he's like, yeah, that chair is too narrow for them to put armrests on. And when I showed him the video, he's like, yeah, that those there's something wrong with it because there was actually uh, rubber particles on part of the um, armrest bracket. I don't know if that's the right word. But the adjustment mechanism for the armrest. So, yeah. I mean, the chair itself is great. I did have to take the armrest off. I am in the process of getting um, actual side guards and the correct foot plate. But the chair itself is great. Do not get me wrong there. Do not misunderstand me there. I, I mean, I desperately needed a good wheelchair. I desperately needed the right manual. Um... You know, people ask me, you've got a power chair, why do you need a manual? It's like, okay, well, I have to charge this. Some days I manage, not every day, sometimes, you know, every night. What am I supposed to do when it's charging and I have to go to the bathroom? Yeah, that's when you need a manual. Or there are places that aren't fully accessible that you have to go to. Better to take a manual. And for those of you that have flown with a power chair, you know why I don't fly with my power chair. Any of you that have flown with a power chair and not gotten extreme damage, you are lucky.